And as per June 2020, as mentioned by Dr. Hisham, 9,388 uh, to the mental health hotline, they were being set up by Mercy Malaysia and, and MOH. And as mentioned here, the treatment is available but not being used. So what we'd like to offer is that Metaline, the one online one-stop center that directly link the communities to the certified providers. What we, what we meant by here is that the users will manage, will manage to book physical appointments to our apps uh, or opting for the virtual consultation with the service providers, the certified professionals, and also uh, purchase the online prescription for our, our online ph pharmacy. And we also emphasize on the platform for the, for the large network of support groups the NGOs that are already established that could be on our platform. And for the service provider side, we will provide the online patient management system for, for the uh, provider and on the caveat, their behavioral, their behavioral test. So as we mentioned here, the 450 million worldwide, 9.3 million as the Malaysians. And among this market size, we divide our customer segmentation into two, the service provider and also the, uh, the us, uh, the user. The service provider will be the, uh, the, the psychiatrist, the clinical psychologist, the behavioral therapist, the counselor, the one that will be approached that will be the, the workers, the service providers on our platform. And the users will be you guys, the working professional, the elderly, the caretaker, the caretaking someone with mental health problems. You guys, the, the uni students, the t or your, your brother and sister, the teenagers and the children, the problem that being faced by uh, this the specific age group. So our revenue stream it will be the service, uh, the five percent service transaction fee, transaction, and for the service provider, we will, it will be fifteen to twenty charge per consultation fee, and it will be ten percent for the online uh, uh, for the online pharmacy and the behavior test, and also we we also have the in app uh, advertisement, and this will be our team. Uh, will be Afdal, the the team leader uh, uh, for the Alibaba team. We have the financial uh, analyst will be Hazri Hamza, our business strategist Amira, the solution architect our Ismail, and myself is the chief strategist and also the, the software development project manager. Uh, so, up. Okay, so now any question from the judges? Um, hello. Yes. Uh, I have a uh, question. Abang yes, Abang. Okay. Okay. So, so. Um, so um, Okay, Veda. Okay, uh, so uh, my question is, uh, number one, would you uh, offer services to actually sell uh, med medication? Because um, I, I understand that uh, at first, I mean, now you want to build a portal where, where people can get consultation, but will you go there? Uh, and then number two is, uh, in, the, in the future, will you go to other branch of um, uh, like medical. I mean, not just mental health. I mean, you wanna go to uh, like the mum, ke sakit ke. Do you plan to be that, or do you just plan to be uh, to focus on uh, uh this segment, the mental health? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then uh, this uh, yeah. this is actually our main plan in terms of the uh, scalability. We would like to approach mm -hmm. the health, uh, problem first, and from this uh, if from the success of uh, if we manage to set this up. Mm. It is very viable for other for other uh, for other uh, depart for other department for, for example mm -hmm. the medicine the family medicine mm -hmm. and the question where you're asking about uh, how we approach uh, the prescription of uh, uh, of drugs right mm -hmm. okay our main plan is first we would like to liaise with the, uh, with the hospital and clinic first it mm -hmm. actually depends on how how well is our affiliate okay. To really affiliate ourselves with Ministry of Health, get the get the uh, proper registration to actually set up our uh, our own pharmacy, it will be much easier because we, we could provide a much cheaper uh, prescription than the than the one to be provided by, by the uh, by the by the private hospital. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of the yeah, if we could manage like lies with the the public part of the uh, of the public pharmacy, for example, the one in the UM, the uh, the UM UM uh, special center, where the drugs is actually about three times cheaper than the private uh, hospital. Yeah, that that is uh, that, that is uh, the plan as well. So the way we approach it is that we are we are with the uh, with the service provider, 
and then with the either the private clinics the uh, or hospital that they are and they're working on and also uh, depending on the our our affiliation with the museum of health then if this but we would like to go that route we would like to provide the the prescription for uh, for them because it will be much easier okay uh, well, and then another thing another question is what what's your corporate strategy i mean in in terms of getting corporate customer what what's your strategy on that I was also okay. Our initial strategy is that uh, we would like to approach the uh, Malaya Service Cent uh, Specialist Center first, especially mm -hmm. we already licensed with Professor Hatim, which is the head de of department uh, mm -hmm. uh, for the Department of Psychiatry at the UMSC. Mm -hmm. and to see the we would like to uh, do the user testing over there first uh, uh, with the, the, the existing customer that I have over there, mm -hmm. and after that. Uh, uh, that we entails the specification of our product, and after after we will approach the uh, the institution first. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, oh, so, so you you're gonna go to institution first, and then corporate, and then hospital and clinics. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, okay, understood. Okay, uh, I think no question for me from me for now. Um, my other my colleagues, other colleagues, you yeah, got Nicole, Anik, Hafiz. You have any question? Any question, guys? Nicole, do you have any questions? Uh, no, no, I just want Hello? Yeah, Nicole? Uh, I don't have any questions. Any questions? Yes? All right, thank you so much for your time. Oh. So, that's your three minutes now, okay? Okay. Right, thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, Incredibles. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Um, if the participants have a question to ask, so you can ask at the chat box, just put it there. So the team members of the teaching uh, team, you can actually answer it at the chat box. So uh, just wait on how we can react on the presentation. Okay. Now so let's, let's go to the second question, which is the movement. So presenter, please turn on your mic and share your screen. Okay, this is ready. Yeah, I could just see it on the screen. Okay, you can see. Yep, clear. Yeah, then I'll proceed to start. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Okay, everyone's ready. Your three minutes starts now. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm the prototype developer of the movement, and here's um, Karin, our team leader, Alia, the UI UX designer, and also Jovin, who is the business and market analyst. So without further ado, I'll present to you our idea, which is Signify. So the problem that we're trying to solve here, there are two main things. First is unemployment, where, where, um, where we are facing this problem of a decline um, ever since the pandemic has started. And another problem is this connectivity, which is between the mute deaf community as well as the people around them. So our solution is to provide a platform for these people um, by um, enabling them to have this new opportunity in um, a job, by providing people with the chances to both educate and learn sign language. We encourage people from all walks of their life to, to um, take up this additional skill to further boost their you know, repertoire of knowledge. And here are some screenshots of the features that we have in our prototype that we have developed using code. Okay, now moving on to the competitive advantage. Here are the three main competitors that we have identified. They are Dev Bible, Science School, as well as the ASL app. So the main thing that distinguishes us from them is that we offer real-time and live mentorship sessions whereby people could be tutored one-on-one -on -one, where these um, competitors that we have here, they only offer stagnant and still um, contents where people have to explore on their own, which of course we also include, but ours is improved in the sense that um, our, um, our materials aren't um, restricted by a paywall like theirs, besides the live mentorship. And as you can see here, this is the, these are the main market, um, the customers that we have identified and the numbers associated with them. 
And um, as you can see here as well, although the numbers of the registered deaf and mute Malaysians might seem to be very minute, but the number of native speakers of the Malay Sign Language itself exceeds even that of the number of people in the community itself. And that is what leads us to believe that we have a great potential in reaching a wider audience. Now, this is a general overview of our business model. Two things I want to highlight are the value propositions and the revenue streams. So as for the value proposition, the mentor has the benefits of you know, generating a stable income, as well as this um, provides them with a platform to easily get students. As for the students, they could get a one-on-one -on -one education and also at a very significantly lower cost than they would outside of our app. And they could also be certified um, on their completion. Yeah. All right. Okay, so any question from the judges? Hello. Hi. Uh, okay, so can, can I please go through your slides? Uh, yeah, sure. Have you already built the app? Um, we have come up with a simple prototype using Java. Okay, okay. Um, can you go to the previous slide? Previous slide, previous slide, previous slide, previous slide. Okay, so actually, um, okay, so so all this function, previous one. I, I, uh, if you want to test out the, the function, again, previous slide. So actually all this function, you can use uh, Airtable to build. Right. So if you want to test out the solution, um, do test out the solution. What you can do is uh, you can plan to build this. Um, get, get, I, I saw that you have a UI UX designer and did, um, I see this work um, and you also, you, you are the prototype builder, right? Uh, are you a coder? Yeah. Uh, You're yes. a coder, is it? Okay, so I, th I think on the building side, there's no issue. So uh, how do you plan to get this community to be on board of your app? What, what's your, your go-to market plan in that sense? Because um, you're building a marketplace, right? So yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, you need people to go and learn and you need people to teach. Right. So how, how do you tackle those community? Right. Could I have my teammates assist me in this question? Uh, sure, sure. Yeah. Um, Alia or Karine? Um, um, hello. Hello. Um, so basically, um, we'll uh, market our app through um, physical and also digital marketing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, and then um, we'll also reach out to um, special schools as mm -hmm. um, our main focus is actually the mute and deaf community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, there, so, so, so for the special schools, uh, you want to target who? Uh, the special school students and um, teachers are both, uh, are both uh, can be uh, are our target audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, understood. Yeah, and also so, the associations. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the end goal is if I go, if for example, a, a mute or a deaf person go to your app, they can learn and then they can get a job. Is it? Yeah, yeah. they can learn or get a job. Both. So, 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 so you uh, are you the one who's facilitating the job? Uh, I mean, I mean the job. I mean, getting the job part. Um, we are like a platform that provide provide the service, but mm -hmm. we allow um uh them companies. To, uh uh no uh any individuals are uh. Well, so so who so who will get uh, who will get the content for the job? I mean, will you go out and find companies who are willing to um, uh, hire mute or deaf people or how? Okay, I think we weren't clear in the how we are app functions. So okay. what we have is a library of signs. So there are videos that demonstrate to the users um, how to perform each sign by category, for example. And okay. this is something that is already in the current apps. Mm -hmm. in which they are restricted, but we are not restricting the scope of this. But um, what, where our money comes in is from the mentorship 
as I've mentioned, and mm-hmm. that is through a system where we would hire people mm-hmm. to come to our app to educate the users. So it's much like your online um, education platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the users would sign up for, for example, a dialect of certain sign languages because there are um, hundreds of variants out there. Mm-hmm. And they will be assigned one of our mentors and they can schedule sessions to have the live um, meetings together. Okay, yeah. understood. So, so, so um, they will go to your app, they will learn different dialects of um, sign language, for example, like yeah. opera ke, Malay, Bahasa Malaysia ke, yeah, yeah. Mandarin ke. Okay, understood. Okay, so, uh, and then they, will, they can, it makes them more employable, right? Um, yeah, okay. that too, that, as well as... Um, this because um, the students by accessing this feature we require mm-hmm. them to subscribe for mm-hmm. a premium account mm-hmm. otherwise they would only have access to the um, library of resources which I've mm-hmm. mentioned before okay yeah so for example if I subscribe to the premium account I yeah. can have a chance to find job um, no by yeah. subscribing here you are um, assigned to a mentor who will be teaching you. So, so, so there's no job part, lah. There's no. The job getting... part, you know, there is a job part where p- if people were to sign up, we establish a series of steps whereby they have to complete, um, including things like you know interviewing and then um, to test on their um, actual skills, like mm-hmm. through a probation period and the mm-hmm. feedback, and. From that, we will decide whether we want to employ them as a mentor on our platform. Ah, understood, yeah. understood, understood. So, 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 um, getting a job means being a mentor. Yes. And then, if it's a cycle, then if someone were to, um, uh, subscribe to your app to get a mentor, and then the mentor will uh, will come from the person who actually learn. So you're creating a cycle here, is it? Yeah, that's why. Um, that's how we try to make it more sustainable. Okay, so so as of now, when you launch, uh, what's your plan? Your, uh, just to release the first feature, is it? Uh, to just to release the first library. Our oh. plan upon launching, we aim to um, the library is a, it is quite a permanent or primary part of our app. Um, have you guess. launched that? Have, have you launched that? Um, no, we have only okay, come up so, with so, the so, interface. Okay. Uh, time time is up. Okay, so my advice is, as of now, launch that library first. Right. And then uh, tell them, uh, I mean, prompt them to have, uh, I mean, although you don't have mentors now, but yeah. just tell them that um, uh, if you want to subscribe to premium feature, you can get a mentor. See how many people who are interested. But as of now, launch the library first. If not, uh, you will be wasting time. I mean, you will be wasting a lot of time. If yeah. you already have that collection of library, launch that first. Okay, uh, that's yeah. all from me. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please get prepared. I found presenter, please on your mic and share your screen now. I found, are you here? I found you here or not yet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to the next group, which is the FITI. Presenter for FITI. Uh, the FITI. Yep, yeah. hold on. Uh. Um, right. I'm going to share the screen now. Share the screen now. Open your camera and your mic. This is why I did. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Just open the camera, Kelvin. All right. Just a minute. Okay. Hi. Uh, okay. Can you see me now? Yes. Yes. All right. All right so, so three minutes starts now. 
Okay, so uh, good afternoon, judges and our fellow peers. So we are Team PT. Um, hold on, yeah. Yeah. So um, the problem statement uh, for our app is that uh, the ischemic heart disease has remained uh, the leading cause of death among Malaysians for 15 years to this day. But um, di the digital solution for heart disease in Malaysia is still uh, highly lacking. So our solution is to provide a one-stop heart app that provides a heart-centric healthcare uh, assistant through integrating digital solutions. So how are we going to do this is that we have uh, four main core features. The first one is PT Journal, where we record um, the user's health log, and PT Blog, where we show health contents, PT Bot, as in uh, having an AI chatbot to assist uh, users' experience, and the fourth one is PT Connect, where we create a supporting network uh, in this PT community. Okay, so uh, here, is, here is just a like, brief view of our landing page. Okay, so um, looking into our competitors, we have Apple Health, uh, Fitbit, and Cardiogram. So uh, we, have, we have developed a few um, features uh, to make us more stand out. So let's say the recording system, uh, symptoms and some of the COVID features as we want it to make it more seasonal and as well as a personalized healthcare content. So we know that different people have different, uh, they have different health conditions. So that's why we want it to make, uh, make it more personalized uh, to cater to their needs. Yeah. And for the next one is our market. So our market, um, we have expected a 38 million uh, ringgit of uh, market volume in the fitness app by the year 2024. Because we also know that um, nowadays people are more uh, health conscious and uh, they would invest more in this kind of fitness tool to like further develop or like maintain their own uh, health condition. Yeah. So our business model, uh, just a very simple one. We have a few key partners uh, where we have hospitals, uh, clinics, and even insurance agencies. And our channels is uh, mainly App Store and Google Play Store. So our revenue, how do we sustain our app is through a subscription model. And the in-app adver advertising uh, from other, other like business B2B model. Uh. So our value proposition is that we are able to uh, track and uh, track detect, uh, detected or undiagnosed heart risk. So Fiti uh, uses AI technology and uh, consumer wearables. So let's say uh, your, your smartwatch to track and detect your heart rate. And the second is to remotely uh, monitor patients between like family members. So we know that like some of the family members, they stay uh, very uh, far, far away. So let's say my grandparents, they stay very far. So through our app, they can still like um, remotely uh, monitor their own like uh, health condition. Okay, so here is our team. Um, okay, yeah. Kelvin, thanks. Uh, thank you All so right. much. Thank you. So, seven minutes for question and answer. Any question from the judges? Hello. Yes, question from the judges. So, uh, I would like to ask your go to market strategy. Okay. So, um, yeah, thank you for that question. So our go-to-market strategy, uh, we mainly uh, rely on uh, KOL, key opinion leaders, as in the fitness community. So we know that uh, they, we, we already have an existing um, audience space from those KOL. So that is one way for uh, our go-to-market strategy. So for our next one is true um, healthcare uh, partnership. So we will partner with, like, let's say, clinics and hospital because they are the first point contact to uh, this kind of patient. So let's say IJN. IJN, they have a lot of patient that requires uh, this kind of health, uh, heart, more of heart like diagnosis kind of like tools to help them monitor. So we will done through a uh, partnership uh, for our go to market strategy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so are you planning to build an application or are you planning to re I mean, I mean build a hardware? I mean, is building a hardware in your pipeline? Yeah, so um, actually we come, we come to this something, uh, it's called electronic medical uh, card thing. Yeah, so electronic it's- Electronic medical record. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the electronic medical record, EMR. So EMR is more of like a hardware. So we want it to become, um, it will be an app. We will develop an app, but we will slowly, um, in the long run, because we know that uh, this electronic medical uh, health record is uh, more of a bigger thing and more complicated. So we want to do okay. things step by step. Yeah. Understood, understood. Okay, so, so, so uh, meaning to say that uh, as of now, within, within three to five years, you are not planning to go into the hardware market, right? You I are just slowly, slowly lah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so um, if you are saying that, meaning that this should, this is more, uh, it is more appropriate to position this as a B two B business. So, uh, instead of getting user first, what, uh, what I mean, after you build, who, who will build, who will build this app? Do you um, have a team to build this app? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Amazing. So, um, instead of going to the cust, uh, consumer first go to uh, clinics and hospital first. Hmm. Clinic, okay. hospital, or, or, or pharmacy first. Because okay. you are heading towards uh, providing uh, electronic medical records, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, design your solution in a way where it is industry standard on the back end. Mm, I see. Uh, on, the con on, on the consumer facing side, um, wh when you create a consumer facing site for the, uh, for the product, um, it can suit how how user would like to interact with it, but as of now, because if you because because um imagine if a clinic can track all of their patients' mm -hmm. um health record. So so I I believe that you have the same vision, right? If a yeah. clinic can track, uh, so why not start there? Mm. Yeah, why not start there? So, so um, instead, yeah. So sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, sorry, yeah. just to summarize what you mentioned, you you want us to build an app that we can license it to um, all these healthcare institutions or even private clinics? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, exactly. So that is the, the most profitable way as of now. If you go towards the consumer first, it would be so hard to educate uh, all these consumers and then you want to compete with existing um, uh, existing providers such as uh, Fitbit or, or Apple 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 Watch. So so uh, what uh, what I propose is go to the road less taken, which is um, go to one by one uh, medical provider. Uh, start with clinic first, and then go to clinic with have have a lot a lot of branch. For example, Medivron, and then move up to Sunway Medical Group. You know, uh, use that as a local strategy, and then offer a consumer facing app as uh, uh, what do you call it? It's um, uh, add-on service. Mm. Yeah. Meaning to say that what you sell them is electronic medical record, a, mm. a, a, a better version of what what they have now in the market, and and they can pay extra to have a consumer facing side mm. of that, or, or you can put it for free, or that, that can be a value provision. I, I think that would be a more sensible go to market strategy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. We we'll take okay. into note. Yep. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you that. so much. That's okay, thank that's you. all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Calvin. Calvin. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, I think that's all for group the PT. Thank you so much. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, right now we are going to the next group. Quick cubes. Presenter, please share your screen. And open up the mic. So we just got a message from iFarm. We send our regards. Assalamualaikum brother di ladang. Okay. So because they are too far okay so they go to farm today all right so quick cubes are you ready hello so please turn on your yeah uh sorry about that uh, i uh i have a separate camera it's on oh. the other yeah because uh my uh my pc doesn't have a webcam so i need to use okay, different okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay so just fix them you have three minutes your three minutes starts now Okay, hello. Uh, I'm Kelvin from Quick Cubes, and I'll be talking about our business, Quick Cubes. Okay, so first of all, the problem that we see is uh, many of the young working adults uh, right now do not have time to cook their own meals. Like uh, they only, they they are more towards like uh, working all day, and then when when they get home at night, they won't have any time to prepare a like, proper meal for themselves. So what is uh, what we propose our business? solution is to uh, prepare ready to cook ingredients that straight away uh, when people receive it they can just straight away cook uh, within like 10 minutes just under 10 minutes you have you will have yourself a meal okay so first of all uh, we'll talk about the competition and our value propositions which is uh, in our business model 
Okay, so first of all, competition, uh, mostly the other similar ventures, I would say, is like Food Panda or like Grab Food, right? And uh, people over there, uh, people who order from Grab Food or uh, Food Panda, the one thing that they don't really, that they're scared of is what they're ordering. Because some people, they don't know, many of the people, they don't know when, what they order. They don't know what is inside. Maybe they have like too much MSG or maybe too much of uh, the additives. So some people are scared of this. So what, what we do is uh, we provide transparency. Okay, we provide transparency. People know what they are cooking and also uh, they know what is inside the food because they are the one who are cooking. We provide the ingredients. Okay, and also uh, we also, one of the advantages that I would say is uh, we provide a more balanced diet compared to other ventures as in uh, they're partnering with other restaurants. We provide ingredients that are uh, we provide ingredients that are from meals that are really well balanced in, in terms of uh, nutrition and the vitamins. And also, we also want people to eat well, uh, basically, from uh, having a more balanced diet. And basically, our target market currently is in... Uh, our, our market location would be in KL, KL area and uh, Selangor area. So... It's a quite small area currently, but uh, later on we will work on expanding it. But now, uh, mainly we are focusing on targeting people who are having an active lifestyle, uh, sorry, active lifestyle and a busy lifestyle, but still want to stay healthy. So uh, they want to keep eating healthy food and something like that. And uh, one of the examples is uh, young working adults. Okay, so next is uh, our team. I will talk about. Uh, sorry, we we are all from we are all students from Bajaya University and. Uh, we are all very committed into making this business a success. So for the future of Quick Cubes, uh, I would want to say that uh, other than the business expansion with that, which I have uh, mentioned previously, uh, geographically, uh, mm -hmm. we will do something like maybe outsource more a little bit into different states. We also try to cater to different groups, different group people, like uh, people with dietary restrictions or even people with... Uh, Oh, Once right, a customization. Thanks up. Thank you. All right, quick cubes. Okay, any question from the brother? Okay, can you go to your slides? Uh, one slide back, back again, back. Okay, uh, next slide, next slide. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, your target market it should not be young working adults. I mean, mean uh, you need to be more specific. What What do you mean by young working adults? Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, do you, you need to be more specific. What do you mean by young working adult? Uh, give me age group. Give me what kind of job they are doing. Okay. Uh, so, so first of all, I would like to say is uh yeah we we categorize young working adults as in people who are uh, who have been working for like around five to ten years start just mm -hmm. started working and then uh mm -hmm. age group of around like twenty five to thirty five or forty mm -hmm. because uh we because we know that this is the time that they want to just focus on earning money. Mm -hmm. Okay. When they focus on okay. earning money, they would need to sacrifice their time and mm -hmm. maybe sometimes their health. So what we mm -hmm. want to do is balance, help them balance this out. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And this is, so, so, so when, when you do uh, your target market slide, you mm -hmm. need to add in the age and then okay. the geographic. So it is easier for people to, to understand or people to, uh, uh, it's easy for you to detect that target market. Got you. Yeah. Okay. So another thing is, I want to ask, uh, you, you guys are not competing with Food Panda. You guys are making your own food, right? Yes. Uh, we okay. actually, I would uh, say just similar it, ventures, lah, but not is it, is it, is it, competitive. Is it safe to say that you guys are a meal preparation company? Meal, uh, kit, meal kit company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say like that because uh, oh. we are ingredient providers, uh, service provider. So, so uh, for example, uh, if I want to cook nasi goreng, instead of you give me nasi goreng, you give me ingredient for nasi goreng, is it? Yes, yes. So, so uh, blue, uh, you need to check out Blue Apron. Do you know Blue yeah, Apron? Yeah, we, we, uh, we, so, we so, checked that out before. Uh, are you guys similar to Blue Apron? Uh, I, would, I would say similar, but not entirely the same. So, so how, say, how, uh, how is it not entirely the same? Can, can uh, we, you... I would say that we also provide uh, extra services like customi customization and personalization. 
so that uh, uh, like PR, yeah, uh, yeah. This is our. So, so for your for, for your go to market strategy, you need to choose a path to start. So where do you want to yes. start? You want to uh, start at the customization part, ke? You want to start at the meal preparation part? Yes, uh, we want to start at uh customization and personalization, like like people with dietary restrictions. Uh, they are, ah. they are, they are, they're very difficult. It's a difficulty for them to find food to eat, especially when they want to eat out. They cannot find food to eat all the time. Uh, and from, even from, if from. they cook, uh, even they cook, they they will only have like limited choices. So so so, so okay so okay understand understand. So do you focus on lunch or do you focus on dinner? Because uh, two of that is different market segment. I would say dinner because mostly okay. lunch time is uh they are working hours. So so so, so how really how do how do you plan to manage the logistic? Uh, for the logistics. Uh, run, run, just roughly run me through. I just want to understand whether you can make sense of your business or not. Okay, so basically, uh, just basically the same thing like ordering the supplies and then mm-hmm. uh, knowing we we don't we don't we don't do by a a meal meal basis. We do like a subscription basis. So like mm-hmm. one week. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we don't uh we we won't spend too much money on like delivery service delivery on like you need to so one time, every single day. So yeah. you what you do is one time delivery for one week lah. Uh, not not one week lah, not one week necessarily, but maybe like four days or three days something um, like that. Um, um, okay, 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 mm-hmm. okay. That's all for me. I just uh, but but uh, great idea. Um, okay. in your slide, what you need to do is you need to tell put what whatever you told me just now. Hmm. Put it in your slide. Okay. Okay. And anyway, so 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 in terms of competition, meaning that when we talk about competition slide, you need to put in blue apron. Blue Apron. Compare okay. yourself to Blue Apron. Compare yourself to Food Panda. Compare yourself to Dah Makan. Okay. Put, put that specific side. And in terms of business model, tell us how you make money. How do you actually make money? Okay. 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 That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much, Quick Cubes. So now we are going to go to the next group. Please travel. Sorry. Hold on. Is Traveller? Is he there okay? Okay. Okay, you ready? Open your mic and your camera. Okay. Thank you for watching the share screen, buddy. Okay. Okay, now I'm sorry. Okay. Ready, your three minutes starts now. Hello guys, I'm from Space Traveler. I'm here today to introduce you an application called Space. First of all, the problem that we saw is, as people need to get used to the new norm, for example, doing glossary, having social activities. However, with current system, it's hard to avoid overcrowding in a specific location. So, the solution will be, we are going to design a mobile application which updates users the real-time occupancy of a specific place. It's achieved by calculating number of people going in and out of place in an image. Mm. Okay, second, the market size is huge. As we know, there's over 88% of Malaysians using smartphones. There's all around 167,000 restaurants and there's over 2,800 retail convenience stores around Malaysia. From the beginning, we will cooperate with 30 convenience stores in Kuala Lumpur and at the end of 2021, we wish to cooperate with 100 government premises and our target customer will be 100,000. Third, there's different service providers in the market. In comparison, VCOW and Irises do not provide the service to connect B and C, while Space is going to put effort in it. Let's look into our business model. We are going to offer you real-time in-store occupancy information. We are going to provide you QR code for entry shops for merchants. We are going to provide you big data information for you to analyze your customer behavior. And in the future, we are going to provide you online taking number and booking services. So the key activities is reflect real-time in-store occupancy and collecting data for analyzing. Our partner network will be merchants, including restaurants, grocery shops, supermarkets, and also device providers. So 
We estimate our capital expenditure is around 42,000 and our estimated revenue for a month is around uh, 34,000. Finally, here's our team members from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. We truly believe that our passion and effort, this project is worth a try. Thank you. Join us, your space, be a space traveler. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, can you go to your slides again? Sorry. Oh, okay. First slide, sorry. Okay. Yeah. First slide. And we go to the first slide. Okay, so if I okay, okay, in in in, in the most simplest way, mm -hmm. because because okay, I understand what you are trying to build, mm -hmm. but you need to understand when you pitch to people, mm -hmm. um, not everyone will because your pitch is too technical. Uh, yeah. So how do you explain it in the most simplest way, in layman's term? Uh, your hello? solution. Hello, okay. yes. I, I will try to answer your question. Uh, we, uh, first, we have the human detection model, uh, okay. which, we, which we have two plans to build it. The first way mm -hmm. is applying by digital image process. And mm -hmm. the other part is deep training sessions such as faster RCNN. So mm -hmm. once we get the human detection model, so, mm -hmm. because we are using camera to 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 capture the frame, mm -hmm. so may, as a, as example, maybe there are area A and area B. So mm -hmm. when we detect the person, they are moving from area A to area B. So we mm -hmm. can detect it as, as like going going coming in the store, and mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe they are from area B to area A. So they are considered as going out the store. Okay, understand, understand. So, so what you are building is you are building. Uh, uh, if back then, uh, security guards sit in front of a shop to calculate how many people come in, how many people come out. What you are using, you are you are automating that, is it? Uh, yes, yes. We are we are we are going to use camera and Raspberry Pi to mm -hmm. to fulfill this function. Understood, understood, understood. Okay, so who will pay for your solution? Uh, the merchants will pay for the system because we are going to provide them the camera and the system as well. So, so they will... why why do they want to pay for your solution? Uh, because nowadays, uh, the government encourages social distancing. So if mm -hmm. the shops, the restaurant is too many people, people avoid going there. So mm -hmm. if people know that there's how many people inside the restaurant, the customer or the users can decide whether they want to go or not. Okay, yeah. so that is during COVID-19. What if like COVID settled already? So why do they want to buy your solution? So, so uh, in the future, people can arrange their time better because people is going to adapt the new life. So mm -hmm. if the, the system come out, people can arrange their time. Whether they want to go to the bank, to the restaurant, they can also online taking numbers on our apps in the future. Okay, so the one who is paying for your solution is your customer right your meaning the merchant the uh, one who owns the grocery shop the one who owns my day tesco right am i right chance we'll use our system but users can check the number of the people the amount of people in the stores by using our apps or website uh, understood, understood. But, but the one who is paying to install the camera the one who is paying to install the raspberry pi is my day in tesco right hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah. So yes. meaning that that they are your customer. Uh yes. Okay. Yeah. Am I am I correct? Because they will yes. be paying 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 you money, right, to install yes. the system. Yes. Right. Yes. So why would they pay money to use your system? Mm. What what, yeah. what 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 what's in it for them? Uh, as additional, they will have better understanding about their customer behaviors. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. as whether their customers are like. A really uh, old a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. so it can detect that by our human detection detection model, mm -hmm. and so they can have better plan for their for their services. Okay, so your current competitor, uh, if I get this correctly, is those um one the one who detect customers using Wi-Fi, right? Collect that customers' data using Wi-Fi. Yeah, and also right. like we have a um, data analysis report for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, 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 so. Uh, uh, this is the thing. Your, your, 
your go to market strategy should revolve around getting B to B customers. Okay, so so I I believe that this is not a hard technology to build in a sense of getting connecting Raspberry Pi to a camera and detecting how many people counting how many people is not a hard thing to get. I mean, a hard thing to do, and it is not that expensive. Am I correct? Uh, yes. Okay. So what I propose to you is for your go-to market strategy uh, to get the convenience shop right. Instead of getting thirty convenience shop first, try to get one or two convenience shop just to test out your prototype, pilot for free. Hmm. Yeah. So so so, and then it will be easier to get one hundred, two hundred uh, convenience shop. Because your your strategy is not convenience shop. Your your strategy should be a uh, bigger mall such as a uh, Maiden, a uh, bigger grocery such as Maiden or Jaya Grocer or, mm. or or Tesco. So so uh, first and foremost, just pilot your technology with one or two shops within Malaysia, mm -hmm. uh, and then and then you can straight away uh, try getting. Uh, bigger. Uh, uh, try getting bigger shops to 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 use your solution, because I I believe that you can't make enough money. It, it's hard to make enough money if you just phase one thirty convenience shop, phase two fifty convenience shop, fifty restaurant. Because you also need to pay your engineer, you need to pay your server. Mm -hmm. So you need to secure a big contract first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank but you. but but yeah, good thank idea. You. Okay. Okay. Thank you for me. Uh, any more questions? Your time's up. Okay. Uh, uh, but, 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 one last thing lah. Uh, when you present, right? You need uh -huh. to present it in customer's point of view. Oh, okay. If 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 not, it will be too technical, and then okay. it will be hard for people to grasp. Oh, okay. No, you no need to tell about the camera. No need to tell about. I mean, don't don't tell how you do it. Tell us why you do it. Yes. Okay. Focus on why you are doing it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Hamir. So right now we have an official charge. It's Amira from OMIG. So uh, she will uh, try to assist you and ask you to ask you to Amira's point of feedback. So right now. Oh, I think I'm mute. Sorry. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. So right now we have another judge uh, coming up from OMIG. Uh, Nurul Namira, so she's the founder of OMIG. Kalau nak tahu OMIG apa, dia explain after this. So, you can go to Instagram or OWHNYGAE. Ah, okay. So, right now we are going to the next group, which is Food Access. Hi, can you hear me? Okay, yes, we can hear you. But please share your screen. Okay, I will be sharing my screen. Yep. So, can you see my screen? Yes. So, yeah, my name is Mayjun. Uh, my name is Mayjun, and I'll be representing my team for Food Waste Less. We are actually from Help University. So, first of all, do you know that? Oh, sorry. Let me just mute this. Minimize this. Do you know that in Malaysia, we have over 16,000 tons of food being wasted per day? And it's enough to actually feed about 12 million people three times a day. Now, why this problem actually arises is because businesses, in terms of the food manufacturers and product uh, producers, they actually don't have an integrated platform or a system to actually manage the unplanned, unavoidable uh, food waste. And when we say food waste, it's actually the surplus food. And they have no tracking system to uh, find out how to actually reduce the food wasted. So our proposed solution is to come up with an app that could actually help the businesses to track the number of food wasted and also find a way to uh, reach out and, and uh, distribute their surplus food to the needy or those who actually are the consumers of the food that is basically the university students and also the working adults. So with our app, we are able to uh, come up with, with a real-time tracking reporting system and also sell off the surplus food at, uh, at their markdown prices. So many to say, uh, our focus here is on the customer's pain points and my customers are actually the food producers, food manufacturers and those who are actually uh, operating in the food service line. And the way that we're going to earn is based on the listing fees, subscriptions or tracking reporting services. So our, our, we have four competitors. That is the first day we, it is um, the Robin Food. 
is because they they are actually a very established uh, mobile app company already, whereby they have a lot of partnerships in terms of the F and B uh, sectors. And then secondly, will be the food loss project. Although they are the second, but however, they don't have a mobile app. So basically, they run their business in a website basis. And the third will be Grab Cycle. Uh, although they are the third, but they don't have enough uh, or they don't have a lot of uh, partnership as compared to Robin Food and also the Lost the Lost Food Project. And fourth will be Olio because this company, although they have they have an app, but they only uh, distribute the surplus food to their neighborhoods. So what makes us better than them is that we would our system actually uh, integrated a digital platform whereby we will actually match the surplus food from the businesses to the demands, and we will, we will have the F. Uh, w, uh, FLW tracking system that could actually help their businesses to realize how much food is actually being wasted and how much food can they save from that. So our market size is large as you can see on the left. Uh, we have over 6,000 restaurants, uh, 6.5, uh, 6,500 uh, um, food manufacturers and then uh, this uh, left hand side are the businesses who actually produce the food and they have a very large uh, demand that is the 1.3 million university students, 15 million working class, and those who are actually consume the food produced by these businesses. So this is a very brief um, five page of uh, an app. It's a, it's a, we just did it just now. So for example, if you are a consumer or a user, you can just uh, download the app and then log in and you can choose to be uh, the supplier of the food or the consumer. If you choose to be the consumer, you can go to the select category. If you want to choose a Malay food, Western food, and if you were to choose Western food, you can click into the food that is being sold at, at a reduced price because they are actually a surplus food and then purchase it at a discounted price. So our All right, thank you so five. much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So right now we are going to open the judges some time for questions. Okay. Um, he hello, Majun. Hi. Okay, uh, interesting idea. Uh, want to ask, uh, can you show us your slide? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, okay, so uh, I was thinking, next, next slide. Next slide, okay. Yeah, next slide, okay. Okay, I was thinking which of the features that you want to launch first because I think when you want to, if you want, were to launch this, you need to figure out both sides of the the, the the app right like the, yeah. the user and the, the supply the supply yeah so yeah. what's your so, plan on that our plan on that is to basically get uh, okay we actually had an idea to how to validate our uh, how to validate our idea or market whereby we mm -hmm. want to get the users first um mm -hmm. the users of the consumers basically Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we need the consumers to buy the food from the suppliers. So if we were to get the suppliers first, but they don't know, they don't know whether there are any user base or not. So mm -hmm. if we were to get the, some certain statistics or validation that there are users who actually want to buy the surplus food at a cheaper price mm -hmm. and there's a demand, then the suppliers will see that the app is, is valuable to them. And they will because actually want to pay a listing fees or subscription of the tracking and reporting system. And yeah. so, 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 so you want to be a food ordering app first, is it? Uh, yes, but then so, uh, when so, we say food ordering app, it's basically we are different from Grab and Food Panda and whatnot. Uh, because, so you are selling yeah. it cheaper in a sense of because it's uh, access food. food. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so at first you will absorb the cost, the cost lah. Yeah. And then you Sorry? will tell, at first you will absorb the cost of, of okay. the, the, the food because you say that you want to get the user first, right? Okay, okay, okay. Understood, understood. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, interesting way of putting it. Uh, interesting way of strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So and you, thing okay. So, so uh, I think Amira has a question. Okay. okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, can can we can I know your target market, please? Yeah. Uh, here. So right. our target market is actually the businesses. The businesses. All right. Can you explain more on that? Okay, so because we are focusing on distributing the surplus food, that okay. is, uh, so as you can see, like for example, like a restaurant, uh, you can say like a McDonald's, you know, they mm -hmm. produce like so many burgers a day. So all mm -hmm. the food, uh, um, apparently they do not keep it. So they will actually throw it all into the, to the bin. So instead of, instead of thinking, why do you want to throw the food, uh, food when, they, when it's actually still edible? So instead mm -hmm. of throwing it away, it's like a CSR for them that they can sell the food, the surplus food at a cheaper rate, whereby 
the, they have to meet the demand of the Ryan side, which is the university students or working class who actually would like to enjoy like buying McDonald's or like their favorite food store at a cheaper rate. Yeah, but then at the same time, the restaurants or the F&B, they can actually also increase their revenue stream. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the one who will be using your app, your yeah. service here is going to be the university student, is it? Yes. The university students or anyone just like you and I who like to buy food at a cheaper price, then we can just use it. How are you going to maintain the quality of the food? Because it's like... Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, so yes, this is one of the questions that we, we've been asked uh, many times. Mm -hmm. So, basically, our app is, we are a third-party app. It's just like Shopee, you know, you okay. have a lot of vendors of them who sell the product. But mm -hmm. it's not Shopee's responsibility or our responsibility to maintain the quality of the food. So, the businesses, which is the restaurants, the, mood, the food manufacturers, the, the supermarket, the hypermarkets, those who are selling the grocery, it is their responsibility to ensure the quality of food is still good and healthy and it's also edible because if if there ever encounter if there ever a situation where by the consumers faces mm -hmm. like the food poisoning or whatnot, it will not be our responsibility because the food does not come from us. We are a platform that matches the supply and the demand. So they have to bear the consequences. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think that's all. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your, thank your you so answer. For thank you. Okay. That's all from you guys. All right. And now we are calling upon group number eight, D I S H Dish. Yes, hello. Please share your screen, open your mic and camera. And if you're ready, your three minutes will start soon. All right, sure. Can you guys see my screen? Oh, yeah. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, yes. All right. Okay, so, your yeah? starts now. All right. A very good day, judges, and a very good day, everyone. My name is Akif, and I'm representing the Digital Internet Solution for Households or Dish. We are from Multimedia University of Malacca. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the problem that we have ident identified is that we have conducted a survey in which we found that 85.8% of households during MCO face home repair issues. And not only that, we also conducted another survey in which we found that 50.7% of unemployed people that have relevant home repair skills are also uh, being affected by MCO, uh, which uh, leaves them uh, unemployed and also they want to gain passive income, but they do not know how. So by creating DISH, we tend to kill two birds with one stone as we are a platform in which we will give quick and easy home repair services to households as well as giving job opportunities to the uh, unemployed people who would like to gain income using their skills of home repair. Next, our solution, because you can see here from the uh, left-hand side, we have for our households, which is, we'll provide them a quick and complete solution for them to solve the home-related issues, such as a leak pipe or a broken roof and so on. Next, we also have, uh, we also give suggestions on required tools uh, necessary for them to be able to solve their home problem. Not only that, we also have an automated smart self-fixing feature called iFix, in which we'll give them a step-by-step -step guide on how they can solve said problem. Those are some of the few for the households. And next we have for our fixes or for our repair services in which we collaborate with, we will give them an online platform for them to be able to do their business. We will also be able to help them increase their customer coverage as they are able to do the business during our, our platform. And also we will give the freelance fixes, those who are unable to find jobs, an opportunity to become a freelancer in our platform so that they can able to start their own uh, business. Next is our revenue stream. So for our revenue stream, we tend to charge a 50% service payment to the household. Not only that, we will also gain a 10% commission from selling our tools uh, to the household. Next, uh, the repair services in which we will collaborate with will have to pay us a 20 ringgit monthly fee for them to be able to use our platform and also use our premium account in which we will give them added benefits such as added uh, promotion and so on. Next is our competitive analysis. As you can see here, we have identified four different competitors, but what makes us special is that unlike all of these, we are actually able to provide a repair service during the MCO period, and they are not. Not only that, as you can see here, we also provide a 24-7 customer service. We also provide an opportunity for unemployed people, like I said before, to start their own self-fixing service. And last but not least, we also provide a trending data analytics visualization on home issues. Lastly, uh, we also have our go-to-market stage, which consists of six stages. The first stage is our preparation stage, in which we will identify the target market within one month. 
The second stage, we will have a funding through any possible platform such as crowdfunding and others. Next, we will have a, a developed service platform during our developing stage, which will take around six months. Fourth, we will collaborate with at least 30 vendors around the KL area and Slango area. During our growing stage, this stage, this is where we tend to promote our business the most. And during our last uh, stage, the sixth stage, we, our expectation is to expand DISH, our platform, to be able to be accessible throughout the whole Malaysia. And this is possible to different uh, collaborations with companies such as Post Laju, which will help give us manpower for our logistics. And last but not least, this is our team. Okay, we are thank Muslim you so team. much. Your time's up. All right, thank you so right. much. Now, seven minutes for the village to ask any question. Okay, yeah. I, I believe that what you are building is not that complicated in the sense of the technology. It's just a matter of facilitating the number of service, kan? So I want yeah. you to go to competitive analysis, Mr. Slide. I mean, have you already launched your, your product? Um, for this, uh, I would like to invite my teammate to answer. Is that uh, okay? I, uh, the product is under development. Uh, okay. Not so, so no one has used this product before, lah, kan? Not yet, not yet. Uh, so, so why did you say that you are available during MCO? Okay, uh, why we say uh, availability of the service during the MCO because uh, we have one kind of feature that's going to help the households uh -huh. to solve the issues during the MCO. When we uh, went through all the, our competitors, they aren't uh -huh. able to provide the services. Oh, because during this, the, because orang tak boleh keluar data rumah orang lain. That's yes. the only reason. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. But we uh -huh. able to tackle that. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the features able to tackle that. We still able to provide the service uh, mm -hmm. by saying that uh, the fixes don't have to come to the house. But still, the solution is there. So oh, meaning that uh, you can, what, for example, that what you can do is it's like a video call. Lah. You can video call yes, the person a, and a, then uh, ajar yeah. macam mana nak pasang mentol, those kind of things, is it? Yes, something, yes. And we have okay. some uh, AI automated for that particular uh, feature things. I understand, so, understand, understand, understand. Yeah. Okay, okay. so, 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 so um, yeah, what you are building is not that complicated um, based on what, do you have a, if you don't have a, if you do have a developer, don't waste time on building all, uh, all that feature then launch. Build mm -hmm. the simple marketplace first and then launch and then build the feature okay. on top. Uh, when you as as you go because it's not that hard and then and my my second question is are you MMU Melaka or Sabah Jaya? MMU Melaka. Melaka. So launch in Melaka. Okay. Alright. So 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 Kaudim, uh, Service Zero, all of them they are great in KL, but I don't think they have any brand presence in Melaka. So why not be the first in Melaka? So your exit strategy can be selling your data. I mean, if you want to quit the business, you can sell your database to them. So yeah. That's all from me. Um, no questions from. Do you have any more questions? Yeah. No, they, uh, hello, I have your notification here. Regarding the person who's going to do the service, like how do you onboard? Uh, this, I mean, how do you onboard the, uh, the one who's going to fix the problem? Because you just uh, building the platform, right? Hello? Uh, uh, so, so you guys you... just build platform, platform, and then uh, how you guys now onboard the person who can fix the problem? So, uh, just can you repeat one more time? Your question a bit louder. Thank how you. do you onboard? Macam mana you onboard your, your person who can fix the problem? Oh, yeah, yeah, tukang, tukang. Tukang, bus, tukang. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, yes. The ones with the skill. Okay. Yang kind of, uh. Okay, this one, the, uh, the fixer who actually having a fixing skills, first they need to uh, enter into our app in order to, you know, so that to get recommended to the household. So, once the Households, they, they agreed, okay, they said they want to book for this particular service, okay? And then, once the uh, fixer accepted the fixing services, then, okay, that's the part where once the confirmation is made via our app, the platform, then only the fixers will go to their home and do the, do the fixings. 
Okay, uh, I have one thing. Um, not not comment on your presentation. Your presentation is good. Uh, I mean, not you can do better. But but okay, if you are serious in launching this business, um, you need to figure out how to get tukang pipe, tukang elektrik tu dengan amount yang banyak, then how to get customer dengan amount yang banyak from day one. So uh. my, my Yeah. Sure. So so yeah. So my advice is, if okay. So so you have anything to add? Ah uh, yes, because yeah. uh, actually in our previous slide, um, mm. the one that we sent um for the top forty, mm. uh, we stated there that like, uh we are going to partnering with the Job Street, uh, to promote our app so that mm-hmm. all those fixes they can mm-hmm. apply, um, to be able to be a fixer in our app uh, through uh-huh. job street uh, understood understood okay so, so i think the most the more uh, logical way of approaching this is what you can do is you can uh, okay on the fixer side number one you find any pertumbuhan tukang pipe ke i mean find existing fixers find existing organization that have the database of all these fixes. For example, macam NGO yang berkaitan dengan tukang payap ni. Ataupun, you go to vocational schools. So, vocational schools that can actually have people yang highly skilled. If not, it will be a problem for you to actually vet satu persatu, interview satu persatu. Orang ni pandai buat ke tidak, orang ni pandai buat ke tidak. So, in terms of strategy yang mendapatkan customer yang amount yang banyak tu, our our advice would be go to housing developers. Oh, so, okay. so, yeah. so it's a hassle to build brand presence if you want to lawan service hero, if you want to lawan um, Kaudim because they have more marketing money. If you want to go, macam I saw that you want to raise 8,000 ringgit kan. 8,000 ringgit is nothing compared to the budget that service hero have. So what you need to do is you need to do hyper local strategy. Start in Melaka, start in your area first, Bukit Beruang MMU service small amount of customer and then skill skill a uh, skill uh, skill when you are ready okay all right so, well, thank you okay thank you Look number nine is, please get ready. Hi. Hi. Please turn uh, on your mic and camera. Share my you. screen now. Yeah. Uh, can you guys see the, the screen? Yes. Now okay. please turn on your camera too. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, wait for a while. All right. Uh, okay. 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 You ready? So, uh, okay. For three minutes. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Three minutes starts now. Okay. We are Team A from Sunday University, and I'm Colleen here. Okay. So according to our survey, we found out that there are 78.2 percent of people prefer home cook rather than food delivery. The main problems that people encounter when cooking are cook almost the same food every day, not sure what to cook with current ingredients, not tasty, and not sure which kind of ingredients to buy. So our apps plan to start with a beta version first, okay? So through the Instagram, and our users can watch various of recipes, videos, and ingredients lists that we uploaded. And we can, they can order ingredients needed from us, and then we will deliver to their house. Besides that, our users can also comment on our Instagram and hashtag us to share their cookings and recipes with us. After that, we have 100 of users, then we will develop a full version S. The full version S, besides having the features that beta version have, it will also have many other special features like we can recommend recipes according to user preferences, uh, filter the recipes with available ingredients, and in addition, the online community platform and Instagram will also be provided for them to share their cooking journey and communicate with each other. And the most special features is we have a platform for them to trade their pre-owned cookware so that beginners can don't have to use so much money to buy 
a new cookware and the cookware that still can be used can be prevent wastage. And then it's our competitor analysis. These are our competitors through the recipes apps market. And the most different from us is we, will, we can deliver the ingredients to our users and also provide a platform for them to trade the cookware. Okay. Besides that, we will also provide a filter for them to filter the recipes they can cook with selected ingredients. Then this is our market segment, which is the target customers of us is people who are a major in cooking but like to cook and people who need help with the purchase of suitable ingredients and hope to save their time, while people who wish to cook the ingredient they have in their fridge. These are our key activities. When we are a beta version, we will prepare the recipes, tutorial videos, ingredients list, and then deliver the ingredients that order to their house. And after the sales, we'll have a customer engagement with them so that we can know their feedback. And then on the full version as we will provide more features which are step-by-step, -step, tutorial video, and then cooking tips, and also we will have the Instagram for them to communicate with each other. So this is our team, which are Wesley Lim as our leaders, and Colleen Kinke will be in charge of the product and tech development, and Tan Keyen and Ban Hao Ying is our customer service representative and marketing generalist. Thank you. All right, thanks up. Any questions from you guys? Hello. Hi. Uh, okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, just now you said about one of your service is uh, filtered ingredients, right? Yes. What do you mean by that? So if uh, I, if, for example, if I have like a garlic and a uh, uh, fish, so you can tell me like what to cook with those two ingredients. Is that it? Yes, yes, we will like provide the recipes for you that can cook with garlic and fish. So, uh, how, how, how are you, uh, what is my question, sorry. Um, how are you going to make sure that, can you ask uh, fish and garlic, you can? Yes. Then, uh, how are you going to cater because like everyone has a different different uh, ingredients that is available at their house how are you going to make sure that happen like much on your side it's a automatic system for the filter so like if i have carrots and garlic then we'll automatically will filter through the recipes because the recipes already have the ingredient list there so it will automatically will like filter for them Oh, but okay. if they don't have the ingredient, they can like uh, order from us. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. I think that's all my question. Thank you. Okay. Um. By the way, uh, can I ask a question? Yes. Okay. Can you go to your slides? The target market. Uh, target market. Uh -huh. Ah. Yes. Okay. Uh. Again, if you are doing your target market, please add in demographic, add in number. Uh, um, meaning to say that, okay, so, so as of now, where do you plan to launch your app? We plan to launch on Instagram first to test the market and then okay, we will so only I, I mean, in, term, in terms of location, uh, where do you plan to, because oh, you flank. have that uh, flank, flank area. We, we so because you plan to deliver, Okay, so because you plan to deliver the food, if I mean the ingredient, kan, semua kan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so 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 I was asking. So in, in it's within Klang Valley, is it? Yes. Okay. So so my if the easiest way, my advice is, uh, to focus on a niche first, and then scale up. Meaning to say that focus on and uh, right now it, you are focusing on Klang, right? It, yes. That is in terms of demographic. In terms of recipe, focus on the niche first. First, go for healthy recipe or halal recipe or Malay food or Chinese food first. And then you can scale up. Okay. okay. Yeah. I think uh for uh if I think it's easier for you uh to create a persona to know your niche market, like who is gonna be the early adopter to your application, who's gonna be the first one who use your application. Right. We so, actually do have a persona, but the time limit is three minutes, so we didn't put it down here. Oh, uh, okay. Can can I know uh, your persona? Uh yes, wait. Uh. 
Uh, you can just explain to me the. Oh. Actually, we have the custom group. So we will like have the challenges they have and also the common objective and biggest fear is like eating unhealthy, wasting money and also eating the same thing repeatedly. Then the challenges is they don't have much time to cook and also don't have the time to find the ingredients. So mm. we, the main idea is to save money, eat healthy, and also save time. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. This is just one suggestion for me. So I was looking to your app. I think it will take a, quite a big time for you to execute it because you need to find uh, people who can do the logistics, who people who can supply uh, all the ingredients, right? So it will take time. So maybe for you to test in my cat, what you can do is you can start with um, you can do you can suggest recipes based on what do your customer have at their home at their home. So you you can suggest any recipes based on the ingredients that they have at their home first. So after you get that traffic of users and then after that you can move to your second business. Uh during the same time you can search for your suppliers. Or your, the, the one who uh, take care for your logistics and all that. Okay? Maybe okay. just a suggestion for me for you to start. Okay? So, okay. Any from the judges, if you want, uh, that's all from group number nine, AC. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ACE. Amazing idea. Thank you. All right, uh, we're going to go with group number 10. Globally, please open up your mic and Hello. and also share your screen. Okay. Yeah, please um, share your screen. All right. Can everyone see my screen? Yep. Yep. So okay. If you're ready, uh, your three minutes starts now. Hi, my name is Daniel, and I'm representing my team, Team Globally. So I'll get into it. Now, uh, so the problems that we are trying to solve are three problems. So the first one being animal shelters and adoption centers have trouble to sustain their operation due to lack of funding, donation, and a unified platform to promote pet adoption. And especially during COVID-19 pandemic, pet store retailers were closed due to movement control order during COVID-19, making it hard to generate offline sales. And to some extent, pet owners find it hard to get supplies for their pets during the movement control order. So what do we get when we combine pet stores and animal shelter together? We get animal care, which is uh, our solution for the problems mentioned before. So what can pet store owners do with animal care? They can get more customers, help animal shelters get donation easily while also generating sales at the same time and generate sales even when MCO is in force. And what can pet owners do with animal care? Buy their pet essentials easily from home and have them delivered to the doorstep. And we do this by partnering with e-healing services such as Scrap. Compare, they can also compare prices from stores listed in the platform and buy pet essentials such as cat or dog food for animal shelters instead for themselves as a donation. So what can animal shelters do with animal care? They can advertise, uh, animals or pets for adoptions and get donations such as pet food from uh, the, users, the users of our platform. So how, do, how does it work? So we don't have a prototype yet. So this is just a simplified overview how everything works. So all the customer has to do is go to the animal web app via mobile desktop web browser, select the items in quantity, enter address or pick, up, uh, pick an animal shelter nearby to donate to and make a, their payment and the items will be delivered to the customer's address or the chosen animal shelter. And this is how um, we're gonna get our revenue. So we're gonna base it on the subscription model. So I'm not gonna go through the pricing. So this is the pricing that uh, we have come up with. So it probably needs more research. And looking to the future, we are also planning to include a vet clinic into our platform for pet owners to find nearby pet clinics and book an appointment easily right uh, from the platform and this is our team so it's led by uh, Nathaniel this is me and 
uh, O'Neill is the digital marketing specialist, and Aisley, Olivianis, and myself will be working on uh, the website. And that's all from me. All right, thank you so much. Number 10, Global Link. All right. So, right now, uh, the judges can ask any questions. Yeah, seven minutes. Hi. Okay. Uh... Does your animal care only focus only specials on cats and dogs? Uh, no, it could include um, like exotic pets such as um, snakes. Guinea pigs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm asking this because I have three guinea pigs. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, if you, you're partnering with shelters, yeah, right? Uh, yes. So, local shelters such as SPCA. So if if I uh, if I want to put my for example if I want to put a pet for an adoption this pet that I'm, even though that I'm not from a shelter like personally I want to put my pet for an open uh, open for adoption is it uh, is is it okay? Uh, it's or it, it only shelters can put the pet for adoption. Yeah, for the initial plan we're only planning for animal shelters, but in the future we will consider that. Uh, because, uh, you know, when, for me, uh, having an exotic pet and when they actually have a lot of guinea pigs here to be rescued. So we only have like a virtual uh, group where they do adoption. Okay. But then uh, they're not uh, usually like uh, only like owner, pet owners, much like I personally put the pet on adoption. You know, when I rescue the cat tepi, you know, when I found a guinea pig or a cat, a stray cat, can right, I like right. put, uh, you know, personally, because sometimes there's a lot of people that don't open a shelter, but at their house, they have like 10 cats because they rescued the cats and all that. All right, right. Yeah, I think you can consider it on that. Yeah, we haven't uh, thought of that yet, but yeah, we will consider. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, good, good uh, platform, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. So I uh, I see that you, to I mean in your side you said that you also try to work with vet. Uh yeah. Yeah. So so can you elaborate more on that? Okay. So um you know some vet clinics they're still resort to traditional methods for uh keeping track of the appointments and all that. So uh in our mind we're trying to have a platform. We include this vet clinic. So. Uh, the pet owners can actually create a profile for the pet so that uh, so that they can easily uh, book an appointment uh, within the platform uh, with a nearby clinic and yeah, so, yeah. so so your your point of entry so uh, in launching your product i mean you guys are software engineers right uh, yeah, uh, most of us. yeah so 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 um, you know that you know in a product development cycle you need to launch first and then get feedback and then launch more features right yeah. So, so uh, among all these features, vet with SPCA, with with um, the adoption, and then with the pet store. So, where do you want to start? What What's the point of entry? Oh, so we're gonna start first with uh, the pet store retailers and okay. the animal shelters first. Okay. So your local competitor would be Petotum, is it? Petotum. Uh, yeah. No. So, so, so yeah. that, that that's the local competitor. They launched like two years ago. So do check them out. All right. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and if you are choosing that as a point of entry, um, my advice is launch, uh, launch fast because e-commerce, uh, I mean, what you're basically telling, telling me is you are, you are doing an online pet shop. I mean, if you are launching that now. So, so um, launch fast. It's not that, I mean, I know that you understand that it's not that hard to build an online pet shop. Okay, thank you. Okay, yes, so, Jensen, start for me, echoing from what Mira has said before. So, um, the reality is right now, if you are going to say that you are going to look at partners for like shelters first, rather than uh, those people who want to adopt their pets, I think it will be uh, easier for you to get customers when you start with the pet owners first. Because, um, Kalau kau tengok kat Twitter pun semua kan, uh, semua kat Twitter, Facebook, they are calling for adoption and they are like uh, terlampau scattered around now. So if oh. you guys, uh, uh, if you guys portray yourself as a digital solution for them, 
where they can put all these uh, pet owners who want to adopt their pets, you can put in your uh, platform. So it will be a good start because uh, the market is ready there. So if you are, the second thing if you are saying about pet shelters, um, it's a good move but uh, the reality about pet shelter in Malaysia is not that good like we saw in video or YouTube or what like. So uh, what you can do is um, you need to understand animals or pets from pet shelter is not that good they uh, take care of by those uh, workers other than pet owners. So if you want to really um, uh, monetize on the pet selling part, okay, so if you, you go with the pet owners who are actually taking care of the pet really good, so it will be a good potential for your platform. Yep, okay. we will definitely look into that. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. You believe, right? Okay. Yes. So uh, we're going to go to the 11 group, four points. Open your camera, share your screen, and open your mic. Okay, can you all see the screen? Yes, okay, if you're ready. Yeah. Your three minutes start now. Hello, good afternoon to Alibaba Get Coordinators and everyone here today. Your group from Point, I'm using the application tester and it's the lead. Software engineer Kayan is the application interface designer of Quest, and Anne is our software strategist and business director, and Jenna is our marketing director. So, Quest, in simple terms, is a virtual queuing system. Our team conducted a survey which established that people spend much more time queuing to essential places during this MCO period, and people still need to fulfill their daily necessities, and workers are still needed during activity operations, and every second of this human contact brings risk to infection. So Quest provides a practical solutions that can even continue on beyond the pandemic. So basically our users will check the queue lengths and book their slots virtually to avoid physical queues. So Quest limits the number of people in a single place to practice successful social distancing. And in the near future, Quest will gain widespread use for creating the best time to go out while avoiding crowds. And eventually Quest will control human traffic in public places. So these are some snapshots of our landing page. And these are some snapshots of our apps alpha version, high fidelity prototype with separate interface for users and admins. And we have shared both these links in the chat. You can see it. And our main business to consumer business model is used as Quest is depending on subscription premium features. And we mostly targeted at the community as a whole. And Quest aims to provide a better efficiency and convenience to housewives, busy working class people, data analysts, operational managers, customer service, and other organizations, and also governmental departments. And Quest analyzed the sort of potential competitors, such as order and collect service, online shopping platform, and delivery services. They each have their own unique selling points, but Quest has identified a gap in this market with a unique balance in offline accessibility and user-friendly interface to encourage a wider audience to practice social distancing. So Alibaba 100 US dollar and other pitchings for investors will be needed to fund for our cloud products like cloud databases, analysis, and storage for the first year of development and testing. The second year is dedicated to marketing and launching, whereas the third year is for widespread collaboration both of which will be funded by in-app advertising and subscription revenues. And that's all from us today. Thank you for your time. Um, hey, Quest. So basically, you're building a virtual queuing app, right? Hello? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay, so basically, you are building a virtual queuing app, right? Yes, yes. So, so, so I mean... Uh, as you know now, because of due to new normal. So number one, um, you also know that uh, your competitor is not just from private companies, your competitor is also from the government yes. because uh, it requires people to do, use social distancing. Uh, I mean, use uh, a QR code and whatnot. But, but how you are better is you have that queuing function, is it? Yes, we have a queuing function. Okay. Okay, so as you know now, due to new normal, everyone is going digital. Mm -hmm. So, so um, the number of foot traffic in malls have been reduced mm -hmm. uh, uh, quite significantly. Uh, so, so, so uh, how, what, what's your plan in the future if, if in the case of, for example, everyone goes digital? So what's your plan in terms of that? Our app is a digital app. So it's like, you see now MCO, right? People queue mm -hmm. along 
queue outside the shopping mall just to get in, right? Mm-hmm. Like, social distance. Our function mm-hmm. is like, our solution is like to provide them to book slot virtually. So mm-hmm. they have to stand there to wait for an hour just to get in. And they can- uh, I understand. So, so, so as of now, everyone is doing this uh, offline because, okay, uh, the, the most natural place I mean, your the most natural uh, customer for you is number one grocery shop. Uh, yeah. Number two, uh, you would be like uh, shopping malls have a lot of your customers. Uh, I mean, food F and B establishment, especially the 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 mid end to high end uh, food F and B establishment. But 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 to grow big, I think your 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 customer segment like is like banks. It's like um, government, government, uh, government buildings, government services. Yes. So all of these services are going offline. Like people can buy grocery or groceries online already. People can order food online. So in the case of, I mean, the, all these shop start. I mean, especially now they have uh, closed down the the dine in option. They they focus more on delivery. So. What's your plan on, on catering to that in the future? Yeah, I will pass this to my group mate to answer. Yeah. Okay, so in the future, we will also allow like for restaurants, we will allow menu integration so people can also order online and like grab, you can order and then later collect. Mm-hmm. So you don't okay. actually have to queue. Mm-hmm. Understood, understood. So, so, so right now, uh, in terms of industry, if you want to launch, uh, which vertical you want to choose first uh for now we are choosing essential places mm-hmm. like like uh maybe post malaysia or the restaurants and takeaway places for food then mm-hmm. in the future then only we'll open to like events so that the event management teams can actually arrange those big events so that mm-hmm. the places are not so crowded so so um i i see that you will launch your app in 2021 is it Sorry? Yeah, I mean, based on your product roadmap, you will launch your app in 2021, is it? Yes, after we test and um, get so, enough. So, yeah. so do, 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 do you think that, I mean, 2021 is too late because, I mean, your competitor right now is getting, the number of competitors that you have is increasing. So, so mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so, this is just a rough roadmap. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. But so we will try mean, to launch. We will try yeah, to launch so, as so, soon as possible to be relevant. Yeah, and another thing is, uh, please compare yourself with your competitor and find a competitive edge as compared to them. Uh, maybe not not on on the consumer facing side. Maybe on the business side. Like, why do business wants to use you guys? Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay that's uh, okay. that's all from me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any question from the other? If no, that's all from four point. Thank you so much, four point. Yes. Well, right now we are going to share on group number five. Colis, please open up your mic and camera and share your uh, Hi, uh, can you Hi. see? Yeah, we can see you, but please share your screen. Right. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, if you're ready, you're okay. free. Starts now. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is Chen Yu from Holdis. Uh, our idea focuses on the lack of social connection and activities, feeling bored or isolation, and how this could affect our well being, and that makes up our problem statement, which is social constraint threatens mental well being of individuals. So Holis addresses this issue by targeting our initiative on enhancing well-being through connections on the basis of common interests and allowing people to learn from each other through an online web or app. How it works is that there, are, there will be two roles where instructors conduct classes and share their expertise, whereas the participants could pick from a variety of classes offered and subscribe and they could learn through real-time video call. So these are, are our competitors and Holis outstands them by having online platform and convenience which offline, off, offline centers lacks, as well as live two-way interaction that Skillshare and Coursera do not offer. 
as they operate on the basis of pre-recorded videos. Hence, we are online, live, real-time interactions, apart from being more affordable and connections or interest, interest learning based. So we narrow down our market segments to young students, working adults, and parents, age ranging from young to middle age. So all of them have the common challenge of not being able to socialize and lifestyle being affected, and their goals all include having more connections, becoming more productive and healthy, and healthy during this period. So we earn by taking around 20 to 30% commissions from each successful subscription. So to give a context, we are aiming to get about 65,000 people to subscribe to the course to the courses, and from them, uh, say we take an av average of 25% commissions, we total up to 812K of revenue for the first year. So our team have come being the financial analyst, and Joyce being the project visionary, and me being the project coordinator. And all three of us come from a psychology background, which helped us in understanding people's pain points during these periods. So we are currently in the stage of designing and developing our platform. So in future, we will conduct a usability testing for our prototype and soft launch and full launch of police in September. So that's all from me. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, ah, interesting yeah. idea. So basically what you are is you're a learning platform, but more social, is it? Uh, yeah. So, 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 um, uh, can I go to your competitive analysis slide? Uh, back. Have you ever heard of Airbnb experience? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so how are you different from them? Uh, Airbnb, ex or Airbnb experience, I'm afraid I'm, I have not this. I have not heard so so, so due, due to MCO and um, um, Airbnb, uh, they didn't pivot it, but they added a new function called Airbnb Experience, where okay. people can learn experience, uh, like in term, in in a more social way, with with people okay. uh, with other people. So so um, I see that you add in Skillshare and Coursera as part of your. So so uh, meaning to say that you will only have live courses, is it? Uh yeah. We'll have so you don't have a pre-recorded class? Yeah, we don't have pre-recorded. Uh, the pre-recorded uh, will only be an, in, uh, be an overview of the class, or what, okay. of what the classes are about. So, so what, what are the categories that you want to tackle? Uh, we will the... tackle uh, exercise, uh, which, are, which include working out uh, such as mm -hmm. uh, tabata, heat, and etc. And cooking okay. classes may be uh, healthy cooking stuff, uh, healthy cooking Dishes such as uh, healthy smoothies and all. Okay. Uh, have you launched, or uh, I mean, who will build? Do you have a team to build the app? Uh, we will try to build the prototype soon. So, well, how do you define prototype? Is it a working prototype? Uh, it will be a simpler way of. Uh, of the minimum app. viable prototype, I would yeah. say. I mean, I mean, okay, so, so my, my advice is because you have existing tools like Zoom. Uh, Google Meet, you have, so it's a matter of getting the instructor and getting the people who wants to pay. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you guys do not have any technical team, yes, you can spend some time on building the prototype. But more on that, what I suggest is try to build the community. Right. Because eventually you can get the money to build the technology. Technology is the easy part. The hard part is getting the amount of teachers and getting the amount of customers. So I believe that you should build that first. I mean, mean get that first. Go to okay. all this Facebook page, uh, go find instructors, and then you, ha you have that database of instructor, go out and find your customers. Uh, because uh, using the one that I taught you this morning, Airtable also, you can build what you want to build. Uh, okay. So, 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 uh, yeah. so I was thinking in that sense. Okay? Okay, thank, yeah. you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question from you, Logan? No, 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 no question. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Right, thank you. By the way, amazing yeah. idea. Thank you so much. All right, now we are going to hear from Group Kido. Coach Azam, eh? will you share screen, Coach?
Coach kalau dah ready, 3 minit Start now Assalamualaikum and good evening to everybody Thank you very much Okay, I am from Kido Group So, uh, actually because of our uh, pandemics Okay, uh, the the thing that our kids is our prices love had become very crucial Okay, uh, so many cases had happened to Malaysia Okay, around uh, 8,535 cases Okay, so this become a opportunity for us Alright, so uh, the problem is uh, the parents uh, feel, feel worried and curious whether uh, the education for their kids will uh, become uh, 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 tarnished or uh, not able to proceed their learning. So uh, we can see that um, most of some of the, the kindergarten uh, provider are not ready uh, to face this uh, MCO and COVID-19 situation. And uh, we also uh, identify that there are no follow-up option for learning for the kids and there are no uh, progress reporting uh, which is uh, not convenient because only have offline method. So we come up with the solutions, a multi-function LMS learning uh, system which have uh, multi-function such as lesson list, the recorded video, notification activity, uh, reporting, monitoring. So this is uh, the idea on the interface of our, our website or our apps. So we have uh, monitoring for kid progress, we have games or activities, and we have the learning online uh, platform. So uh, basically we had, uh, we had, we get, uh, we already get 130 followers for uh, Kido page. So this is the, the, the business model. We will start with uh, creating awareness for the parents uh, for the phase one, the second phase, we will uh, get the subscriber, okay? And then uh, we will uh, go to phase three to enhance or, and uh, get the, the more subscriber uh, with, uh, that they need to pay. So the, the market, the go-to-market plan, uh, we identify that there are 7,546 private kindergarten in Malaysia. So uh, we can approach, as a start, approach 10 uh, multi-channel kindergarten first, such as Little Khalif, Kindergarten, Brainy Bunch, QDs, and uh, the others. So this is our competitive analysis. Okay, We uh, find out that uh, the, the most of them using offline transaction. So this is our uh, team, three members. This is our future plan, uh, launching an introduction within three months and then expanding with searching for partnership and funding and, uh, and, uh, and then groom uh, and expand. So this is uh, the plan for okay. Kido 0.1. This okay. is partnership. All right, question blog. Thank you so much. So thank you. Okay, question. All right. So any question from the judges? Oh, thank you. Kush, uh, alam tak off. Alam. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, ada question from the judges. Hello. Hello, Kush. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. 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 Okay. Ah, uh, Kuih Zam. So here's one question about the idea. So about yes. the module of learning and all the lessons. Uh, you do? Are you using your own module or using the same module as the other uh, kindergarten that already exists here? Basically, uh, the, the basic of uh, the module, uh, we will uh, have as same as the, uh, the, the current kindergarten, but uh, our spe uh, special about uh, Kido is we had uh, an add-on on videos, uh, on uh, games and activities that they can, uh, uh, they can access through online. Okay. 
So, so, ha, so uh, I, yeah, please. okay, so, I think this is an interesting idea in the sense of if we were to position this as somewhat of a kindergarten management system, is it? Yes. So, so, uh, so do you want to be heavy on the kindergarten management system part or do you want to be heavy on serving your, the kids? To, to, so, because you uh, said you have games for, and so on. For Kido 0.1, uh, mm -hmm. the idea is to serve the kids and parents first mm -hmm. and then uh, during the expanding uh, phase, yes, we are going more in deep on the, the system. So who will develop the content that you make? Meaning that uh, I understand that if you go to Little Khalif ke Blaney Bans, of course you will onboard their own content kan? Tapi yes. uh, in terms of the content that you create, the videos, the games, who will create those content? So uh, as I uh, present just now, we will have a collaboration and partnership with uh, those uh, current uh, kindergarten. Uh, mm -hmm. And we also have a collaboration with uh, the, the uh, Kementerian Pendidikan. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have uh, our, our developer that will uh, gather all the modules uh, mm -hmm. and put it, put it in uh, Kido. So, so uh, if I understand it co this correctly, uh, Kido 0.1 is parents can, I mean, I mean kids can uh, get access to all these modules and parents yes. can teach the kids. Yes. Uh, during, uh, especially during MCO. Yes. Okay, okay, fun, fun. Okay, okay, interesting. So, so uh, in the future, kan, do you see this as uh, saya daripada anak saya, saya hantar anak saya pergi Brainy Bunch, anak saya boleh dapat modul Brainy Bunch je? Ataupun uh, anak saya sekarang kat Brainy Bunch, but I want modul Lida Khalif, I want modul Montessori ke? So, so how do you see it? Uh, wait. Huh. <laughs> yeah, last, last question. Okay, basically, uh, the the idea is to to have uh, an additional uh, module, additional input. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we will choose uh, we'll choose uh, the best among uh, all the module that currently that already have. So mm -hmm. it is this is additional uh, additional uh, learning. Fun, 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 fun. Budak boleh bagi tadika, but dalam masa sama dia pakai kido juga. Yes. Okay, fam. Okay, okay. Amazing, interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. That's all the time that we have. Thank you so much, Coach. Okay, sekarang minta semua peserta, please open up your camera and mute the microphone, please. Everyone, please open up your camera. We're going to take pictures. Okay, okay. Number. Uh huh. So, open your camera, please. Okay, let's wait for everyone here. Can we release case revenue bubbling the movement? Okay, ready? I think everyone is here. Three, two, one, and picture. <laughs> wait, huh? another one. Nanti send gambar. Tak ada hal, tak ada hal. Okay, sekejap. Uh, another one eh. Oh, this side tak buka lah. Cute cubes, wire cables, space revenue. Because... Buka camera dia cakap. Ha, buka, buka. Kita buka tak ambil, kita ambil semua. Ni tau. Ha. Alright, masuk-masuk semuanya. 4.0. So, kita ada dulu set. Come on. Alright, tak apa macam ni dia ada, kita ambil eh, tiga, satu, alright, thank you. Okay, thank you so much you guys for your commitment for this two days. So basically the aim for this Alibaba Get This Camp is to get to the, um, to sediakan korang dengan tools. Okay, kenapa bukan dua hari is to prepare yourself sebab nanti lepas dua hari ni, you don't know uh, when is the time that you are going to be focused to this thing, to this idea, to this project. So these two days you have utilized and you have done your web page and edit page and everything else. So we hope that from those tools that you can move forward uh, with your integration ideas. So to close uh, Alibaba.
kabagyan, I would like to invite Ms. Tani Wajuki to give a story form. Thank you. Okay, uh, guys, uh, very quick one. Uh, so, your final task, so your final, final task uh, is that one week task. So, yesterday and today, we've taught you a uh, landing page, we've taught you social media, we've taught you, um, I mean, we said to you how to build those prototype. Um, so, within, this is a task where I, we will see it this Friday. So please, 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 we want you to complete your social media profile. We want you to complete um, posting contents and everything because during your final page, masa dah final page nanti uh, dekat, dekat magic, so we want you guys preferably to showcase real data. Not market research, but data that you guys acquire from your, I mean, going out validating with customers and whatnot. Okay, so if you are building an app, um, now you know how to build a simple mock-up of your app. Um, yes, yes, you, you don't need just to plan, but you need to post. So the, the thing why we bring you guys here today is because we want to teach, touch all this theoretical part and release you guys to go straight and do. So it, there's no point in you do planning, 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 but you guys are not building, you guys are not launching. So, so please, please, please go out there and launch your idea. Um, after hearing your pitch, uh, I believe and I believe all the judges believe that you guys are ready to launch. You guys are ready to understand the reality of launching. So now, build any prototype that you can. use. If you can just build your prototype using Airtable, yes, you use that. If you can't, if it's too complicated, I advise you to build a mock-up and get people to play with your app get them to know, get them to understand and, and if you can convert them to become real customer, lagi bagus because that is where you know that your idea is not idea shot sendiri. Okay? Uh, macam why Incredibles, Globaling, I mean you guys basically can launch your idea already. Uh, use, take key elements of your idea and launch it. You can't launch the most beautiful version of it. Uh, okay, so four point. Okay. Until Friday, your, your social media posting, until Friday is where I see. 10 days is for you guys. Bukan just 10 days, I want you guys to post until you actually launch your business. Create engagement, engagement starting from now. Uh, so, so um, interact with uh, semua orang. Uh, okay, thank you. I think that's all from me. Up until this Friday, we will only check on your social media, check on your website dan sebagainya. But do not stop there. Continue on building your product, continue on launching your prototype up until when you have your final pitch dekat Magic. Bila pitch dekat Magic tu, depan orang, depan real investors, you will have real audience. So you don't want to show them theory. What you want to show them is real work, real practical punya solution. So... Hello? Alright, thank you so much. Okay, uh, can we get any feedback from you guys? Maybe one or two. Anyone to give any feedback? Um, what do you guys acquire from this to this? Can can we ask from ask for a feedback? Like personally, oh. ask for a feedback. Oh, you wanna ask feedback from us? Yeah, the judges, correct. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess, uh there's one person that. Asking for you. Okay, great. Kita akan dukung orang. Shoot! Hello? Hello. Okay, um, you guys, okay, so you have any questions? Anything that you want to ask me personally? We have time. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we want to yes. ask. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we want to ask study about our pitching uh, mm -hmm. from Y Cardio Boss about Mentor mm Life. -hmm. How is it from, okay. from your perspective? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the reason why I didn't, I, I know that Macam Takut kan, we didn't ask too many questions or I didn't give too many feedbacks on that. Okay, mm -hmm. um, in terms of your slides, um, I can't comment much because you guys did a great job on your slides. The reason why I didn't ask much question is because your idea is actually launchable. 
So 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 you guys should not be at the stage of pitching theory lagi dah when you pitch. You guys should be at the stage of pitching something yang yang dah diisi. So so uh, in terms of your design, macam generally everyone, eh, not not just why incredible. In terms why I don't pitch on your skills, I don't pitch on your design is because two things. Number one, um, you guys are the top twelve, meaning that the skills of telling your story is good enough. Meaning that with practice, you guys can pitch on the stage for ten minutes. Uh, number two, why specifically for why Incredibles and and generally for everyone, why I I do I never ask more on the concept. I never ask your concept. I never ask about your idea. I generally ask about how will you launch your idea. So so because for why Incredibles and for for generally for for some of you guys out there uh, that you guys are building, you guys are at the stage at where you can launch already. The had the partnership. You guys have partnership. You guys need to just need to find a way to facilitate uh, those two two uh, dua kedua dua pihak tu. Meaning that you need to find people who wants mental uh, who seeks mental health, mental health punya help. Uh, because on on the mental health practitioner punya side, I think you guys are settled. And then you guys need to facilitate them in a virtual way. Meaning that right now, kalau dah ada WhatsApp group, kalau dah ada boleh buat poster kan bagi tu who wants to seek for mental health boleh datang kat you guys, dah boleh dah buat. So what I want to see is, what does the doctor cakap? Doctor cakap boleh ke uh, diagnose patient, especially mental health patient, patient in a virtual setting? Is it effective? That that is the the, the angle that I want to see. So so generally for everyone, right now your value proposition is more on theoretical value proposition, meaning to say that you guys agak-agak, this is the value proposition that you guys are bringing to your customer. But when you guys test out your customer, which is when, when you guys build your prototype, the relevant question that you need to get or the relevant feedback that you need to get is number one, whether they are willing to pay, whether your customer sanggup tak nak buat transactional value. So kadang-kadang memang betul masalah mereka is X and memang betul solution dia ialah Y. But sometimes transaction tu tak berlaku because the mechanism is not right. So the reason why I ask you guys to launch and especially for wine variables, you guys are really really ready to launch. Memang nak tinggal launch je. Tinggal nak, nak like do that simple prototype and launch je. Is because I want you guys to figure out your real value proposition. So I'll give you an example. Simple example so that you guys can put this in, into perspective. When Grab launched in Malaysia, kan, the value proposition sama je macam Uber. It is as similar to Uber which is you can get transportation via mobile phone okay but bila they've launched into the market and eventually as you guys know Grab bought over Uber South East Asia kan meaning that to say that Grab won over Uber in South East Asia so why? because their true value proposition after they dah a while they discovered is in South East Asia people are unbankable Meaning that orang tak ada credit card, orang tak ada, tak banyak yang ada credit card dan banyak lagi yang tak ada bank, account bank. So people love to do transaction with cash, not just in Malaysia, tapi across South Asia, Indonesia, Thailand dan sebagainya. So the reason why Grab won over Uber, dia orang dulu buat benda sama. Basically Grab copy Uber, tetapi kenapa mereka, uh, Grab menang is because the value proposition boleh bayar pakai cash. It took Uber a while untuk transform from bayar pakai pakai apa pakai pakai card card kepada bayar pakai cash itu uber one to transform from that so meaning to say that in order for you to discover your real value proposition you need to launch first masuk i mean instead of telling people this is my competitor headspace is my competitor uh, apa nama and, and all the other mean even be friends pun somewhat your competitor juga walaupun dia orang ngo dan sebagainya kan instead of telling people that Tell me why you guys are better. Not on theoretical part, but tell me macam kenapa betul-betul orang datang dekat you guys. So, tadi Amira, dia ada launch, uh, Amira tadi, they launch, sebenarnya dia launch Oh My Bay. So, Oh My Bay is a chatbot for victimized women. People go there pun minta mental health advice dalam masa yang sama. They, uh, they I mean, dia pun tanya pasal uh, victimized women punya issue lah. You know, I think you should contact Amira and get get input from her pasal-pasal building this stuff. But my point is, Amira when she pitch, she knows 
kenapa people datang kat dia? Sebab she's a safe space for women to datang. Safe space for women to actually come and share their own stories. Safe space for women to actually open up their heart. So your 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 user is pesakit I mean orang yang punya masalah issue mental health. So how do you get them? How do you capture them? So that is your real value proposition lah not as compared to this space. It's not Uh, so so itulah that's why I didn't comment much on your presentation sebab you guys are amazing uh, but, but, but bottom line build your product launch and then when you pitch dekat magic nanti it's not that you are pitching theory you are actually pitching real solution so that is for everyone eh, general, not, not just for buying renewables that is why we do this two days course it's as opposed to every day 40 minute 40 minute 40 minute kita tak nak jadikan training ni macam kelas tau macam every day ada homework every day ada homework every day ada homework we want you guys for two days to experience to learn to get the sense of your idea to work together dengar idea orang lain dengar macam in general lah eh, you guys sekarang dah tahu dah kawan you guys kat mana and you guys tahu sekarang how to be better than your friends i'm going to tell you now in order, the only way for you to win to go to finals seeing all your friends here is to launch Siapa launch dulu, siapa yang boleh cakap saya ada 10 customer or even saya ada satu customer yang dah bayar you actually are ahead of the curve right now you guys are sama je Ace ke, Quick Cubes ke, Y Incredibles, you guys sama je you guys are still in theory, in concept that's why we ask you to do your social media that's why we share to you how to do applicable prototype that's why we share to you how to build um, this landing page sebab settle all that first, part first And then bila nak launch, mudah sikit. Not to say lagi sedang tapi you know you've started somewhere. At least you start, started somewhere. So within these five days of course uh, the task is for us to see your social media progress but it is not for us to actually give you marks but to see whether you guys are serious doing this or not. Finals for Malaysia, finals to represent Malaysia should be people who are serious to actually launch your idea. And when we talk about serious launch by any means possible lah okay so that's all from me um you have any more questions to ask ada ada soalan lain anyone uh, i have a question okay, yeah okay. pasal tadi tadi you you ask a question regarding our corporate strategy right okay yeah. um if we give an answer that is probably not as ambitious as the inv investor wants So what is the point of view of the investor? Uh, okay, so uh, you if you can give an which you can give a not so ambitious answer as long as you can clearly define your target market. Faham tak? <coughs> kalau kalau contoh right, right. you say that your target market is nelayan, of course the organization pun macam tak ambitious lah. Your 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 corporate you want to go to kilang yang buat engine nelayan. Contoh eh, contoh. Tapi It doesn't, but you tell them that it doesn't stop there. Uh, it, this is just the strategy for this target market. As we grow to other verticals, we will have more, uh, I mean, revenue channels. We will have more opportunity to make money. So it doesn't matter or whether you give ambitious answer or not. Yang penting is give the right answer. If your answer is not ambitious, tak per. As long as it is the right answer. Thank you so much. I need to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, thank you of that. Thank you. Amazing. Okay, so I think that is all from me. Uh, if you have any more questions, just read, uh, directly ask me via WhatsApp. Um, and 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 I bid you good luck. Uh, we are in Cyberjaya. If you guys are in Cyberjaya, hit us up. Um, we've launched Youth Ventures Club. Uh, so if you guys, uh, 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 Sorry, we've launched Juventus Club and under that we are also promoting University Startup Challenge So if you guys are interested, uh, I mean if you guys have any interest to join USC Go to mymagic, M-Y-M-A-G-I-C dot my dot M-Y slash USC So you guys can register, there's four cohorts of bootcamp And ultimately the winner will get like funding, I'm not mistaken, 15,000 ringgit cash No strings attached So um, That is all for me. Uh, Abang Anit. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, just one more question because uh -huh. yeah, we already registered for the USC. Uh huh. Uh, we we want to register uh, the deep tech bootcamp, but uh -huh. the tech already passed the 
the, the deadline, which is uh, at 8 p.m. on the June 19th. So, okay, okay. Is, you think it is still possible to register for the deep tech bootcamp? Uh, yeah, yeah, just drop them an email. I, I believe that they are still uh, in discussion for that program. Yeah, because, yeah, because. They haven't finalized the cost structure yet. So, uh, if you really want uh, a keen in, get, in joining the deep tech bootcamp, I suggest yeah. you to drop Magic an email, and I believe that they will be open in accepting your application. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, Abane. Okay, no issue. Yeah, other, other question? Okay, no question. Uh, thank you for everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for, for, for your focus. Thank you for your commitment. I hope that you get something from us. Uh, if you guys are in sample, hit us up. Uh, we would love to meet you guys, especially if you guys are in Magic. Okay? Bye, cheers. I'm feeling high.